time with this here game You don't know, so let me tell ya, huh Let me show ya, you gotta press some buttons And find some stuff To feed the bad guys and make be level up Ha <laughs> ha, now let's run out story Is it real cool, is it boring What's wrong or not in this plan Is it worth playing again Just chill and see, just see what's popping Once it's told right there is no stopping Did you think that it would be just plain? That all the titles would just be the same? Now lock and load It's time for the game cave gamers what's up uh, I know it's definitely been a long time since I made any kind of video and uh, I've just been really busy and stuff but uh thought I'd see if I could start making more and more often and uh, as you can see I have my I love my Mario New York shirt from when I got Nintendo World New York and uh, a little NES controller hat and Overall, pretty cool. I've I've got some cool projects uh, in the works for like gamecube videos and other uh, avenues of stuff I want to do. Um, but today we're gonna go back to what makes uh, what videos I like to do, and that's game reviews. And today we're gonna review a classic F Zero on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I got two copies of like a little sealed one and cartridge uh, so this box see back and everything pretty cool and uh, you know let's review this game and uh, see how it is F-Zero on Super NES you have a few different modes as you saw you can pick from one of four different vehicles, each with their own uh, speed, weight, uh, max power. Basically, uh, you'll see you take damage in this game, so each can take a certain amount of hits. Um, as you can see, you have uh, Wild Goose is this one, Golden Fox, and last but not least, the most poor one's Blue Falcon, which is obviously Captain Falcon. And you also have three different leagues, like your Cups, Knight, Queen, and King. Um, just like your Flower, Mushroom, and Star Cups. You have your Classes, which is equivalent to your uh, CCs in Mario Kart. And here's Mute City. And over here, you see you take damage, and when you hit this little uh, strip here, you uh, can recover your energy. You see the side of the road there, That's uh, that can all take damage. Uh, the gray parts of the level, the darker gray, that'll slow your vehicle down. And at the end of each race, you'll see not just your lap times, but you see what place you were in at the end of that lap. So that's definitely innovative and pretty cool. And here's Big Blue. Um, this game uh, definitely used uh, the Super NES's uh, Mode 7 very well as uh, you know back in the 90's that, that was the gimmick of, of consoles you know uh, the Genesis had their uh, blast processing and the Super NES with their Mode 7 and FX chip which were legit but you know those uh, definitely did the thing uh, as marketable made, made uh, games and consoles marketable so as you saw there, I was down on damage, so what I did was slow down, basically stay in there and regain uh, my power and my health. Uh, when it says limit, that basically means uh, your limit of where you can finish in a race. Um, the cars, you have a bunch of AIs on the track that are not a part of the main cast. Uh, the ones that are green are actually in the race, and the other ones are just there to be an annoyance to get in the way. In the upper left corner next to your rank, which as you saw I just finished third, you have another number, and that's the ranking you need to finish in, 
in order to uh, move on to the next race. The game overall looks phenomenal for the time. Um, I, say, I think it looks pretty good for now even. It's, it's not a bad looking game at all. Um, only issues I really had with it were, uh, were the controlling, just the D-pad itself seemed uh, a little loose, but nothing uh, too bad that if you played it long enough you couldn't get used to. Here you'll see what happens when you do run out of power uh, coming up, I, I believe. See, when you run out, you, you, gotta, you have to reload. But in this game, you don't just have to worry about turning. Um, you have L and R can actually move your uh, vehicle, can glide it, so if you hold the R and you're turning right, uh, you can get a much smoother turn, and if you slow down at the right time, you can get a perfect turn and a tight turn. There are over 15 levels in this game. Um, a lot of them, uh, as you can see there, uh, if you do a jump and you do not land back on the course, uh, it's equivalent to just uh, losing all your power and blowing up and uh, you die and start over. As you can see in the bottom right corner, you have how many lives you have. Yeah, this game has just some phenomenal music, as you can probably hear. And uh, we'll take some time uh, just to listen to some of it right now. So yeah, definitely has some, some great sounding music. Uh, the SNES in general had just some great sounding technology. And uh, if you push start, you have a ch you have the option to uh, stop the race. You know, you'll lose a life. You can either try again or you can uh, go right back to the main menu. Sometimes uh, when you hit off the walls and stuff, you can use it to your advantage. Not always, not, but sometimes. The three races you just uh, you saw where I finished uh, were Mute City One, Two, and Three. Uh, they are very fast-paced races. Um, pretty nice turns, and they they get you. Uh, used to the the cup, I guess that you're going to be racing in. And here you see, uh, I guess a desert <laughs> sort of level. And this level actually, um, it looks like I'm doing really bad. I am not good at this game, but uh, this game, this level, you're actually the the screen is shaking to give you the illusion of wind, of it being really windy out. So the screen shakes and uh, you gotta control that and there's a lot of boosting in it so it's, it's this one's a very difficult level but pretty innovative and uh, 
being able to use the technology at the time is uh, pretty awesome. So overall, F-Zero, what do I think? Uh, for the time, very innovative. Uh, problem, uh, besides controlling and stuff, uh, it was only a single player game. I know that sucks, but it was very fun. You could compete with your friends with times on different tracks and stuff like that. Uh, I will be reviewing soon, hopefully F-Zero X on the N64. That game is freaking awesome. But uh, overall, I would recommend you, uh, people to at least try this game. It's uh, fun, it's fast paced, and uh, it's a good way to maybe kill about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. So, F-Zero definitely gets my stamp of approval. And uh, this isn't, a, even if you, have, if you have a Super Nintendo, this is not a hard cartridge to find. You can find these uh, pretty cheaply on eBay or Amazon. So, I definitely recommend it. Uh, until next time, like always, good, good gaming, God bless, and game over. My sexy boy